Hey guys, so today I'm back and I want to talk a little bit about relationships just because I've been thinking about it quite a lot lately. Just because I'm a loner boner and that's what you do when Valentine's is right around the corner. So um, I decided I was going to talk to you guys about a few of the situations I put myself into for the last few years that made me realize that it might be a reason why I I'm single and I've been single for the last 20 Valentine's Day. I'm a loader boater. <laughs> hey there. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. There's my doggie. Hey. Hey. He just wanted to say hi. So, yeah, and I think, you know, they just show how awkward I can be with the opposite sex, which is not good. So, hopefully my experience will make you guys feel better if you are feeling a little bit down for this Valentine's Day. And teach you on how not to act when the opposite sex approaches you. And that's only if you ever want to get a boyfriend or girlfriend. So... Here we go. Um, okay, there's a few things that I can think of uh, when I was thinking back to like high school and stuff like that. And one of them being, um, there was this one guy who I had history class with. And we used to sit at the same table. Uh, we became really good friends. You know, he was very nice or whatever. And one time, I was late for class, as you do. And as I was walking to class, this other friend of mine approached me and said, that he asked you yet and I just looked at him because I was very confused so I was like what are you talking about and then he started laughing he didn't want to tell me so I had to chase him down and make him tell me what was that thing he was talking about so it turns out this guy had told everyone in the school I'm not over exaggerating because my school is very small it's literally two halls with like four classrooms so he had told everyone in my school that he was going to ask me out and he was going to do it during class. So after I found that out, of course I started freaking out. I started texting all my friends because I knew and they didn't tell me. So I was very upset about that. And I went and I hid in the bathroom like you do when you know somebody's going to ask you out. So I hid in the bathroom the whole period because I was not about to go to class when I knew he was going to be there. So I hid in class just texting, watching YouTube videos, doing absolutely nothing for the hour and a half. And then when the bell rung, I tried to rush into the cafeteria to avoid him, but I still had to see him. He stopped me and he asked me out and it was very awkward because while he was asking me out, the only thing I could think about was how short he was. People say I'm picky, but like really the only physical thing I look for in a guy is that he's taller than me or at least my height and that I find him attractive I don't care about the rest and I've, I'm like 5'8 5'9 and I've been this height since I was like in the sixth grade so I've always been really tall like I grew up too fast so this was like 9 or 10th grade and I was just like sitting here and you know as he's talking the only thing I could focus on it was the fact that I could see above his head and that's the only thing I remember from all that conversation. So then, of course, after that, you know, I just told him I couldn't because we were good friends and I didn't want to ruin our friendship. And he stopped talking to me for a while. But after that, he got over it. We became friends again. Right now, you know, he's a good friend. We don't talk as much. But we're good friends. He's doing well. Yeah. Then, the second one. Uh, he, the second one was kind of crazy. He was a new kid in school, and I don't know how we started talking, I think it's because we had a couple classes together. So we got talking or whatever, and then um, he did not like my best friend at the time, and my best friend kept on always telling me how he was crazy. But being the naive person I am, I was like, no, you know, he's not crazy, he's just new, he's awkward, it's fine. Until, of course, I found out that he actually was, in fact, crazy. Apparently, he read all this, like, demon books, and... He wanted to join the army just to be able to kill people and that it was just crazy things like that. Like he was literally a psychopath. 
So then I tried to stop talking to him. Then this one afternoon, I stayed after class with my friend and we were like studying for something. So we were sitting in a class uh, and then that guy came in with one of his best friends who happened to be gay. They walked in and you know, he came and sat next to me and he told me he wanted to talk to me. And since I knew he did not like my friend, I told him if he wanted to talk to me, it would have to be in front of my friend. Because I figured he wouldn't talk to me if my friend was there. But, you know, he said that's fine because he was feeling really confident. So he went ahead and asked me out right in front of my friend. And of course, as he's asking me out, he's like harassing my hand and saying all this bunch of shenanigans. My friend's over here like laughing his ass off. And I'm trying to concentrate and not laugh at this kid's face because I don't want to be mean. So he's over here telling me all this stuff and I freaked out as I do and I just shouted, I thought you were gay. So then of course there's this awkward moment of silence throughout the whole classroom and everyone's just staring. My friend <laughs> at this one who was just laughing out loud, he did not care. I was trying to control myself and keep a straight face. This kid, like his face was in shock for the first few seconds and then turned into anger and confusion and I don't know, he, I don't know what that, I don't know and he just said, what? Why? Why do you think I was gay? So of course, I just, quick thinking because I am a very fast thinker when it comes to the situations and I just said, oh, I thought since you always hang out with that kid whom I know is gay, I thought you guys were actually in a relationship after that, of course, he got very offended and walked away and never talked to me again until two years after that, that he stopped by where I used to work at a restaurant and told me he was about to get married, which was very weird. Um, but that, uh, yeah, that was weird. Uh, but then after that, there is a co-worker of mine who is very nice and a few weeks ago, I walked in with a new haircut since I just did my bangs, as you guys might be able to notice. And I walked in, I was feeling a little bit shitty because I didn't really like the way my bangs were looking that day. Just because when you just get them cut, they're not really working out. It takes a few days for them to actually sit in and fit with your face or whatever. So I wasn't feeling too good. So I walked in and he noticed that I cut my hair. He's like, oh, you know, you look really good or whatever. So then, you know, I said thanks. And then there was this like awkward moment where we were both staring and smiling at each other like... Yeah, I was expecting him to say something else, and then I didn't know if I should walk away because that would be kind of rude. So we were just like awkwardly staring and smiling at each other like this for a few minutes, like he was expecting me to say something else. So, I freaked out, as I do, like you guys know already, so there's no point for me to say it again. And I said, thank you, Look, you look tired, and I walked away. After that, I mean, his face, I feel like a douchebag the whole day because you could tell he was just like in shock and surprised that I was such an asshole. But I freaked out. <laughs> That's what I do. I freak out. So that happened. Um, and yeah, that that's why I don't even worry and I don't even like... Whenever Valentine's Day comes along, I just know I'm a loner boner. I don't even question why I'm alone <laughs> because I know. I know. <laughs> So yeah, I just those are just some of my stories I could think of. So um, don't be don't be feeling sorry for yourself or sad. If you do, just come back and watch this video again, and I'm sure you'll feel better. Now you know what not to do if you ever get asked out or if somebody gives you a compliment. Don't do anything of what I did, and you'll get a date at some point in your life. But anyways, if you have any awkward situations like I do that you know is the reason why you're alone, I feel free to comment with me and this is what we can do on Valentine's Day because my Valentine's Day will include pizza, ice cream, and Tumblr. Maybe a movie here and there. So yeah, now I mean it can also include some of your stories. Let's be loner boners together. Woohoo! But anyways, uh, yeah, that is all. I'll be seeing you guys soon. I hope you have a good Valentine's Day. Goodbye from Pepito and I. Adios!